You're listening to KXCV Maryville, KRNW Chillicothe, and welcome to our special broadcast of today's announcement by Northwest Missouri State officials concerning what the university is billed as an exciting development within the school's athletic department. Along with Rodney Harris, I'm John Coffey, and uh, Rodney, a lot of anticipation about this announcement. There's been uh, several rumors around uh, uh, town today what this announcement is, and uh, you'll be able to hear it live here on uh, KXCV KRNW, but it really should be an exciting era for Northwest. John, a lot of speculation and a lot of excitement. You can just feel the buzz in this room. Already a capacity crowd. I think they set up for possibly 100 uh, uh, folks, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, but uh, already several people standing in the back, also along the sides of the foyer here at uh, uh, Lampkin Gymnasium uh, on the Northwest Missouri State campus. And as you mentioned, an exciting announcement for, from the Department of Athletics today in regard to the future of Northwest Missouri State University. And it's anticipated that university officials will announce that the school's next athletic director will take over for Ren Baker, who recently resigned to take a position with Memphis University's athletic department, where he is serving now as a deputy athletic director for external affairs. And of course, everyone wishes Ren Baker the best of luck in his new position. And he came in for a couple of years and did a very fine job as athletic director at Northwest. And this will be the seventh from what we can ascertain through the history books anyway, as long as recording history has been kept. This will be the seventh uh, athletic director uh, uh, at the university uh, here in Maryville and uh, again uh, just about getting ready to uh, start with this uh, announcement and press conference here this afternoon. And as you mentioned, the seventh athletic director that's been recorded, Ryland Milner became athletic director at Northwest in 1957, the longtime coach and athletic director from 1957 through 75. Michael Hunter was AD from 75 through 77. Of course, everyone knows uh, Dick Flanagan, who was athletic director from 78 through 94, also a longtime track and field coach at Northwest. And following uh, Coach Flanagan's uh, uh, retirement, uh, Jim Red became the athletic director at Northwest. Uh, Jim Red took over in 1994. He's instrumental in hiring former Bearcat head football coach Mel Churchman. And uh, for uh, Dr. Red, he was athletic director through 2001 when Dr. Bob Bowrichter took over. And Dr. Bob was AD here from 2001 until 2010 when he resigned to take the position as a commissioner of uh, the MIAA. And at that time, Ren Baker was hired in 2011 and served through uh, 2013. So it's kind of a rundown of the most recent athletic directors at Northwest Missouri State University. Uh, during today's announcement, again, at the four-year of the Lampkin Activity Center, uh, Northwest Vice President of University Advancement, uh, Mike Johnson, will be uh, going to the podium. He's going to the podium now to begin today's event. Good afternoon. If we could ask anyone that are in our coaching staff, if the coaches could come forward, anyone from athletics, we'd like to do our best to seat them, or we already have that. Everybody else that would like a seat, I don't know, make your way up here towards the podium, that'd be great. I'd just like to say good afternoon and, uh, and welcome to this historic event. Um, my name is Mike Johnson, the Vice President of University Advancement here at Northwest Missouri State University. And um, we thought we had a surprise for you this afternoon, but with social media, we understand the cat's out of the bag. And uh, so therefore, we're here today to, uh, to introduce a, a momentous occasion, very historical for this institution. And uh, with that and a bit of news at this time, I would uh, welcome to the podium our 10th president of Northwest Missouri State University, Dr. John Jasinski. John. Well, good afternoon, Bearcats. Welcome to those that are here in the Lampkin Activity Center foyer. Welcome to those listening on KXCV KRNW. Welcome to those watching the live video stream. Welcome to honored guests, Representative Mike Thompson, our city council, uh, our city manager, uh, Greg McDaniel and his staff, and certainly our mayor, Glenn Jonigan, so many other esteemed leaders, Nottoway County, uh, representatives and so on. Faculty and staff, Bearcats, Bearcat alumni worldwide, and our student athletes, it's a pleasure to stand before you today for this great occasion. It's my son Joe's 22nd birthday today and he said, what are you doing for me today? I said, I'm holding a press conference. <laughs> but if Joe's watching, and he may not be, uh, <laughs> Joe, this is not about you. 
Seriously, it's a very, very exciting day, a great day for Bearcat Nation. We are here indeed to announce our next director of athletics. We have a great tradition here, getting back to Henry Iba. And as you go through our athletic directory and our coaches and our student athletes and our athletic directors, and you know, kind of phase up a little bit to Dr. Dick Flanagan, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer Dr. Jim Redd, MIAA Commissioner Dr. Bob Bowrichter, Ren Baker, who served us admirably for the last couple of years and now is uh, preparing for a, a playoff basketball game today there in Michigan for the University of Memphis. All of those individuals help the great green and white and lead us through all kinds of uh, unbelievable moments. But today is really about Mel Churchma. It's not about someone's last 17 years here as a Bearcat. It's not about legacy. It's not about our prod past. It's really about our very, very bright future. Mel Churchma. The name exudes excellence. The name exudes integrity. We have that rich tradition. Ren did such a great job, and, and I know Mel, uh, uh, Ren and you have become good friends, and, and Mel has stayed connected with Bearcat Nation. We've seen him at a variety of, of events, activities, games, etc. He reads our updates on a daily basis. He told me that. He said, you know, I know more about Bearcat Nation. You probably do, Prez, but uh, I read every day. Uh, he interacts with our coaches, alumni, and friends on a regular basis. I do need to thank, to thank before we move ahead, a, a few individuals. Lori Hopkins has served as our interim athletic director here. Lori, please stand and be recognized. <clears throat> I told the staff, Lori's not done yet, so uh, she's got more work to do. Uh, our athletic director search committee, Adam Dorrell, Lori Hopkins, Tracy Hosa, Mike Johnson, Mark Kellogg, Joe Quinlan, Dr. Matt Walker, please all stand and be recognized for your work in the committee. And of course, I'd like to thank those that you know, were candidates for this position. We had an outstanding field. And, and as everyone told me, hey, look, this is a, a prime job. And so you're going to have great people go through the process, right? And you're going to come out in the end with, with the, the best choice. I'd also like to thank our Board of Regents. They're represented by Regent John Richmond today in the crowd. John, would you please stand and be recognized? <clears throat> It goes without saying, Mitzi Lust, our, our Vice President of University Relations, Mike Johnson, University Advancement, uh, you and your teams do such a great job. Mitzi's kind of on the background. She'll be out here in just momentarily, but please, Mitzi and her team, Mike, you and your team. <laughs> but I have to thank Bearcat Nation, those of you listening, watching, or even those that just don't have a chance right now, and we'll read about this later on. You know, people said, well, how did you get Mel and Carol to come back. This is not about, you know, what I did or what we did. This is about what Bearcat Nation did. This is all about Bearcat Nation. What better place to come back to, right? But you know what? Mel and Carol, this is what it's all about. Bearcat Nation brought them back to Northwest Missouri State University. Give yourselves a round of applause. So, what are the expectations for Mel Churchma? I will tell you up front, this is not a figurehead position. Mel wouldn't have wanted that, would not have accepted that, but Mel is going to hit the ground running. And you know what? Uh, he already is. But uh, he's going to have an external focus, but also an internal focus. He's going to be serving as a leader, a guide, a mentor, but really take that bright future and, and bring it to life. Two comments throughout this search process stuck with me. And actually three, I'll, I'll add a third. Um, first one is when, when I did talk to Mel up front, you know, I said, you know, we're looking for some candidates, Mel, do you know anybody? And of course he starts listing, you know, like, you know, six, eight, 10 names. I'm like, yeah, okay, keep going on. I was waiting for his name and it didn't come up. I said, well, well what about Mel Church? But he says, <laughs> John, you'd need a crappie pond and a house to go with it, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> 
don't know if we're going to put any crappie in Colton Pond or anything like that. <laughs> but as we talked a little later, he talked about having so much left in his tank and ready to serve Bearcat Nation and teaching and, and working with our student athletes and working with our coaches and our alumni base and our donor base and our friend base. But the other comment that really stuck out for me was, hey, look, you need to know I'm pretty serious about this. And I said, well, Mel, you know, I'm pretty serious about this too. <laughs> he says, you know what? I will guarantee you I will approach this like I approached being a head football coach. Well, I don't need to tell all of you, but that went pretty well. So <laughs> this should go pretty well too, I think. So as Mel has said, once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat is more meaningful to him now more than ever before. Mel and Carol, it's meaningful to us as well. We are all forever green. Welcome home, Bearcats. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our next director of athletics, Mel Churchma. Thank you. Everybody's got practice pretty soon, so we want to go, don't want to drag this out too long. <laughs> uh, wow. John's right. It's uh, something about the Bearcats, and not just the Bearcats, about Maryville and uh, Northwest Missouri State. It's uh, great. And uh, Dr. J, thanks for uh, continuing to talk, um, because I... I I'm serious. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't serious at all, and uh, I was serious about the crappie pond. But uh, <laughs> I'll have to uh, talk to a few friends about that. But uh, uh, no, I. Uh, it just wasn't on my radar, and uh, all of a sudden uh, it really hit me. And uh, the more we talked, uh, the more I realized that this is where I needed to be. And so uh, I really want to thank you and. Uh, you know, I want to thank the search committee. I served on the search committee when we hired Wren, and I know that's uh, not an easy thing, and, uh, um, you know, you, it takes a lot of time and effort, and uh, I appreciate what you did, and uh, I appreciate uh, you going along with uh, the recommendation and uh, giving me an opportunity to come back. Uh, so thank you. Um, I want to thank Carol. Um, <laughs> She's a little cold right now. <laughs> She's adapted to the uh, warm weather really well, and uh, uh, but uh, her love and her flexibility uh, when you're a coach's wife and uh, now an athletic director's wife, uh, you have to be flexible and uh, probably more than anything else. I mean, she's been with me a long time. We've been together, and uh, she understood that uh, I wasn't really ready to retire. Um, I just, uh, for whatever reason, and uh, I had some opportunities to get back in coaching, and uh, they just, I thought this, I, I really thought this winter I had two different opportunities, and I thought that was it. And then when they came, and uh, I couldn't accept. I, I just couldn't do it. And uh, uh, I think the Lord's had his hand in this all the time. And so uh, I know that uh, I'm where I'm supposed to be, and uh, I want to, uh, I want to thank our, uh, our family. Uh, you know, we moved back uh, to be closer to our grandkids and uh, our three daughters. Uh, this, this happened so fast, our daughters didn't know about this until Monday. Uh, <laughs> and uh, when I called Brenda, our oldest daughter, she just laughed and she said, well, she said you lasted longer than I thought you would. She <laughs> said, uh, uh, they've been uh, our daughters and son-in-laws and grandkids uh, just for, uh, you know, for accepting my decision and uh, knowing that I still have a passion to uh, make an impact, hopefully, on other lives. And that's, uh, that's what it's really all about. So, uh, yeah, and like I said, I'm really, uh, I'm almost like in shock. Uh, you know, the, this all, you know, we finished talking on Monday and Monday afternoon, John said, well, you know, spring break's coming up. It'd be nice to have a press conference before spring break. And I'm thinking, well, Thursday or Friday, you know, and I said, well, what day? And he said, how about Wednesday? And so uh, we got a flight, and uh, we're here, and uh, 
we're, we're thrilled about it. So uh, thank you to everybody. Um, just a few comments. Northwest uh, Maryville, this is a special place. Uh, everybody's talked about that already, but uh, I, I had a cha chance to visit with the staff this morning a little bit, and, you know, and such a great staff. And, uh, um, you know, it, it, I, I think the thing I said to them this morning, the thing about Maryville and about Northwest, you appreciate it even more after you're gone. Uh, we went away for two years. Uh, I talked to Dr. Bob on Monday, and Dr. Bob said, uh, he laughed, and he said, uh, you just needed a sabbatical, he said. And uh, we have a men's prayer breakfast uh, that I go to every Tuesday morning, and uh, Tuesday morning I had to kind of break the news to them. And uh, I said, well, I just found out on Sunday that I'd been on, I thought I'd retired, but I said I'd been on sabbatical. So I said, uh, uh, I got the call back. So, uh, you know, but it, it is, it's a, it's a special place, and uh, it's just... Uh, you know, it's, it's neat. Uh, the family atmosphere here, you know, the athletic staff, the coaches, uh, the student athletes, uh, you know, uh, those are the things, the two things uh, that I missed for the last two years were the coaches and the student athletes. And so I'm thankful to have that opportunity to be right back in the middle of them and uh, to be a part of that. But uh, here at Northwest, it's more than that. It's the administration, it's the faculty, uh, you know, it's the community. Uh, I, was, I was telling them this morning, we live in a community in Sherman, Texas. Sherman's a community of about 40,000. Beautiful little campus there, Austin College. Those people in that community love Austin College because they know it brings in revenue and it, you know, we got a lot of smart kids that are doctors and lawyers. But they don't care if we win or lose. They don't even know about it. it might be a little blip in the paper. Uh, you know, it's not the way it is here. And uh, <laughs> we miss that. So uh, I, I, I really... Uh, Really appreciate that. I'm really humbled by this. Um, John mentioned, you know, uh, when you go, I didn't, I didn't list Henry Iba because I didn't, I never got to meet Henry Iba, but uh, uh, I did meet Ryland Milner. Ryland was here when we came, and it was the neatest thing. We to have him walk the halls here is just like, you know, like a legend. Why? And that's what it was. And to to have him stop in your office and talk. He loved the thing I loved about Ryland is is he always respected your time. He'd stand, he'd come by my office, and he'd look in the door, and if I'd say, hey, come on in, he'd come in. Otherwise, he'd just wave, because he knew I was busy, and he'd come back the next day. But, uh, you know, from him to, to Dick Flanagan, I uh, got to know Dick so well uh, through everything that we've done here and uh, through the uh, Lions Club, and, and then Dr. Red. You know, Dr. Red's, <laughs> Dr. Red's the guy that hired me, and uh, I love Dr. Red, and we... Uh, talked a little bit uh, about this, and uh, Dr. Bob, I said, you know, I, I talked to him, and, uh, and, and then Wren, and I, most of you don't understand, uh, you know, Wren, uh, Wren took this job, but before he was here, I retired, and I, he kind of said, I put him in a bind, but I, I really didn't because it, it's all worked out so great. But Wren and I have really become close friends. We talk almost on a weekly basis probably, and. Uh, I think he tried to help me get a football job probably more than anybody else ever did. He, uh, he was great. And uh, uh, I talked to him uh, yesterday afternoon. And uh, just uh, when you think of what all those men done, have done and how they've done it, each one different, each different style. But there's a couple of characteristics about all of them. They're the same. They're all honest, and they all have integrity. And they're hardworking. And uh, I hope that, uh, you know, that I can fall in line with that. I want to uh, say thanks to Lori and to the rest of the staff um, that uh, you guys, uh, I, I don't think uh, you missed a beat and everything's going to keep on going and uh, Lori, if Carol has her way, you'll probably be in charge for quite a while yet, but uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, you know, uh, it'll be a few weeks before I get here and uh, I just really appreciate that. Appreciate what you've done and uh, appreciate uh, the, the professional way you guys handle things and uh, you know, as far as uh, the coaches, uh, I know the coaches. Uh, when we walked in the room, I think there was uh, one uh, assistant volleyball coach that had come after I'd left, but otherwise I know all of you. And I know, I know what you're about. I know the passion that you have. I know the desires that you have. And I'm excited to uh, have that opportunity to work with you and uh, be beside you. Uh, 
my goals as I look at this, uh, my, you know, at this job, um, number one is to do everything I can to help our coaches reach their goals. I want to help our coaches be the, have the program be the best that they can be. And, uh, you know, that doesn't mean we're going to get everything or everything, you know, but we can strive to be the best, and, and, and I want to do that. I want to continue to grow and enhance the family atmosphere. Uh, it's great. It is unbelievable. And I want that to continue. Uh, I want that to be a, a great atmosphere for all our athletic functions and for everything else that's going on with Bearcat Athletics. Um, I want to provide the maximum positive athletic and academic experience for our student athletes. I think our coaches, I told them this morning, our coaches do a great job because they recruit great, great student athletes. Not just athletes, but student athletes. And, uh, you know, we've taken a lot of pride uh, ever since the conference, the MIAA conference uh, started recognizing academic excellence. We've taken a lot of pride in that. And we've, we've won a lot of uh, respect in our conference, and we want to continue to do that. Uh, I, I just, uh, I really think that's important. Uh, I want to do everything I can to, uh, that we can to enhance and improve the athletic facilities that we have here and have a vision for the future. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Bob and, and Wren, especially those two guys, they had great vision. And I hope that I can follow that and have that kind of vision. And uh, like I said, more than anything else, uh, I want, to, I want to see Bearcat athletes just continue on the way we are. Uh, you know, this is a great setting. It's a great situation. And it's so easy to, I feel, like I said, so blessed to be able to come in and just inherit this and just uh, do everything I uh, can to keep it going. And so that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm looking forward to getting started. Um, we haven't. <laughs> we still have to set a date. I think John and I are fine, but Carol's got to negotiate that with us. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, she's, she's, she's upset that she's going to have to live without me for a little while. So uh, <laughs> the, way, the way things have been in my retirement, I think I would thought she'd be happy to get rid of me for a while. Because, uh, uh, but uh, I am looking forward to getting started soon, uh, by mid-April for sure. Um, I said the quote's in there, but I said it, you know, the once a bearcat, always a bearcat. I, you know, we always say that, but boy, it has a lot more meaning uh, when you've been gone and when you're coming back. And so uh, thank you uh, for this day. Thank you for the opportunity. I look forward to uh, working with our coaches, our administration, this great university, but I look forward to being a part of Bearcat Nation more than anything else. Thank you very much. No church month. Just named the seventh athletic director at Northwest Missouri State University. A standing ovation for Mel and Carol as they return. Well, I just want to take this opportunity, first of all, to say thank you to Dr. Jasinski and to our whole athletic staff. Um, when Dr. Jasinski asked me to step in as interim, I knew that it would be an easy, smooth transition because we have a great staff um, in athletics from top to bottom and a great support, and I knew that that's what it would take to get through this transition, and, and I appreciate that. Um, when Coach Churchma announced his re retirement, uh, I had just taken over in compliance, and I told him that if he was leaving, I was leaving. Uh, <laughs> apparently, he didn't take that to heart, so he decided to come back because I'm still here. So that, that's exciting. Um, Bearcat Athletics, I've been at Bearcat now for 11 years, and it's, in the, it's going in the right direction. And I think today is just a testament to the, um, the direction that Bearcat Athletics is going to go from here, and I only see great things happening. Thank you. Lori Hopkins, interim. Thank you, Lori. Athletic director, now Mike Johnson. And, 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 and to that, it is a great day. Thank you for coming, all of you. Uh, we do have a press conference, a media event back in this corner here, so we'll uh, ask Mel to go ahead and head that way. Uh, he will be available to say hello later, but we'll go ahead and start the press conference. Again, once a Bearcat. Always a Bearcat. Thank you for being here. That will conclude the...